water that falls deep in the New Jersey Pine Barrens is starting on its way towards the river, Great Bay in the Atlantic Ocean. Constantly moving through the sandy soil of the reserve are about 17 trillion gallons of drinkable water. This reserve is on the most pristine area of the eastern edge of the United States. It's big, about 115,000 acres, a patchwork of public and private lands. How people use the land here affects the quality of water and in turn, the life within its habitats. On the edge where forest meets water and river meets marsh and freshwater meets saltwater, animal and plant life thrive. There are four habitats in the reserve, forest, marsh, bay, and ocean. The marshes act as a nursery. Many important commercial fish first start their life here or come to feed. Other animals also come to breed, lay eggs, and start new life. The edge where river and bay meet and the tides mix salt and fresh water is called an estuary. It's a place of transition. The water flows in and out, as do its animal inhabitants. Why is this such a fertile place? Animals and plants prefer the edge. Nutrients and soil from the river flow into the marsh, providing food for plants big and small. Little organisms eat the plants and are eaten themselves by bigger organisms, and so on up the food chain. When the larger animals die, they decay and are consumed by microorganisms. Multiply this action over and over and it becomes an enormous food web. Barrier islands act as a buffer between the ocean and the mainland. Blown by winds and washed by the tides and storms, the beaches, dunes, and marshes of the barrier islands are in a constant state of gradual change. The plants and animals that live here need to be tough and resourceful to survive. The J.C. Near encompasses everything from pinelands to ocean. It's relatively unspoiled, a standard against which other, more polluted or changed estuary systems can be measured. Scientists have been studying and recording in these habitats for over 125 years, but much is still unknown, particularly about how estuaries work. The more we learn about this place, the more we realize how important it is and how it is itself on the edge of being substantially changed by human activity. As human populations grow and encroach on natural systems, such as the reserve, it is only through informed choices that we will be able to preserve their value and beauty. Connect with us at www.jcne rr.org or visit us at the Coastal Center located at 130 Great Bay Boulevard in Tuckerton, New Jersey.